that last particular point, he can certainly use it. anything he can get at this point. New balls, 13 Five all. Days. Passerelle's won the first two sets. He's all left to serve. Love. These are cruel shots for Gonzalez having to deal with these uh, continual, this continuous stream of lobs. Fifteen all. Thought for a minute there that uh, linesman was going to call the ball out. He moved his hand, but fortunately he didn't call because the ball was right on the line. James Gonzalez. Fourteen games to thirteen, Gonzalez leads. Third set. Two results, and after losing the first two sets to uh, Lal of India, Leva, the favorite and the champion, has survived. He lost the first two, 6-3, 6-4, and won the next three, 6-3, 6-love, 6-love. In confirmation now of the... Uh, Newcomb result, Newcomb the champion two years ago from Australia, the number six seed this time beat Fairley of New Zealand, 7-5, 6-4, 6-4. Well, they're needing this breather, they really are. It's a very, very hot day here on the centre court, the sun is on almost continuously, and Gonzalez is leading 14-13. That's a chance to achieve the serve. He's had six set points in this long third set. As he goes back, Passerelle all ready to serve, serving for the tenth successive time to stay in this set. Great return off the serve that really took Love a bad 30. bounce because it hit the chalk. So Gonzalez now only two points away from gathering this first service break. Imagine that. Charlie Passarell in over 80 games has not lost his serve once. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Thirty forty. Great fake by Gonzalez, who absolutely looked as though he's going to lob Dan, and Charlie went for it and backed off a little bit. For the seventh time now, Gonzalez has point for the set. Serving. Great serving, Jack, when he's in trouble. Especially in the clutch, Dan, you're so right. Advantage. 
Vantage Patterel. James to Patterell. Fourteen games all. Fourteen games all. And Gonzalez there snatched a bit of that one. Wasn't the bounce. It Quiet, was please. an air shot. Gonzalez really playing it much too soon. Gonzalez to serve. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Forty love. See by that lob, Dan, there's a little wind developing coming towards the Royal Box end. Game to Gonzalez. <laughs> Fifteen games to 14, Gonzalez leads, third set. And just looking and trying to add up those number of games and wondering how these boys must feel. It takes you back into the record books a little bit. And a Great match between Drobny and Budge Patty, 1953. They played a match that took 93 games to settle. That was the year Vic Satius won the championship. Then a couple of years back, Tony Roach playing Cliff Ritchie played an 89 game match. One thing for sure, that if Gonzalez could perhaps win this set, we might be setting a new record. Very quickly now, Charlie Passerell getting on the court Gonzalez is not taking extra time. He's played at his normal pace. So once again, Charlie has to hold serve to stay in here. 14 15 is the score. Love 15. Seventh double fault in the match so far from Passerell. There's that bread winning shot once again, the one that's keeping Charlie in there, the forehand cross court. Doesn't make any difference whether the ball's high or low. He seems to make the placement off of it. Beautiful shot. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Two set points for Gonzalez. That will make nine in all he's had. And the first chance, Dan, that Poncho's had set point on this particular court where he's played so well and Charlie has not served too well so far this game.
game and first set for Gonzalez, 16 games to 14. Passerell leads two sets to one. And what a monumental fighter this fellow is, Dan. Imagine that. At his age, all he's gone through, so many rough, tough matches to pull that set Fourth out. Set, Gonzalez so to serve. Once again, he's back in Quite the fray. Speed. Down two sets to one. But certainly now thinking very, very much towards winning this match. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. That nasty lob right in the sun. Gonzalez really smashing that one with great confidence. Forty thirty. That's a real really squeezing that one down the line. Really wasn't much room there. Oh. Game to Gonzalez. First game, fourth set. News of seeds playing on outside courts. Arthur Ashe, the number five seed, United States, is now two sets all against Ryan of South Africa. They're level, and so too Stan Smith of the United States, the 16th seed. He's leveled against Stone of Australia at one set all. Now a result, Tony Roach, Australia, the number two seed, has beaten Abe Siegel, South Africa, 6-1, 6-2, 6 love. It's Passerelle already waiting to serve. Gonzalez just having the usual momentary break there at the net. Gonzalez leading by one game to love in the fourth set. Center court absolutely packed here. Then, uh, Gonzalez was talking to uh, a ball boy back there. I think he needs some more sweatlets. He's probably run out. All right, Passerelle to serve. Love 15. Love 30. All of a sudden, Passerell serve. He served two double faults in the service game that he lost that third set. It's just gone off a little bit here. He's not too happy with that racket. He continually is watching it. <laughs> just out. 15-30.
30 all. Some very deep breathing there, Gonzalez. Forty. So they've each served ten double forts now in the match so far. Advantage, Gonzalez. And I think it may well be that Passarelli is serving these stream of double forts because Gonzalez is getting ready to run round the uh, second serve, and Passarelli realizes he's really being threatened unless he serves a really deep one. Gonzalez must surely have thought he'd served an ace there. Great acrobatic recovery by uh, Massarell. 15 all. Thirty all. A lob and Pancho's taking just a little extra time to get that win back. Excuse me, Dan, I was going to say, Gonzalez really in danger now. That was a very tired shot he played there. He's had about four really tough points here, so it's only one all, but it's deuce, and Pancho really in jeopardy once again. Uh, 
Great lob. Gonzalez just unable to turn around and chase that one. So it's point for the break here to Charlie Passarell. Advantage Gonzalez. Called out and definitely looked like it was on. Poncho was very distressed. And a very tough break. He was right on top of the ball. Advantage Gonzalez. Deuce. Wonderful return there by Passarell. Heavy top spin and a, an incredible angle. Gonzalez. Game to Gonzalez. Two games to one, Gonzalez leads. Set. Passarell leading by two sets to one. Jack, I was thinking how valuable it would have been for Gonzalez had he uh, won that game when he had the three double faults presented to him by Passarell. Any one of those earlier set points is what you mean, Dan, because he would have naturally have won two sets all, and he'd only need one service break to go ahead and win the match. And at this point, being only in the fourth set, he's got to break Passarell at least twice to go ahead and win. But in watching this wonderful match and thinking of Gonzalez's age, it seems to me, Dan, you have to go to maybe three people who've been able to play the kind of tennis Poncho can play at 41. Norman Brooks in his 40s was a super player, the wizard from Australia. Of course, Bill Tilden, I believe, Dan, was 37 when he won the championship here, as well as winning it in the United States. And of course, the uh, incomparable Poncho Segura, who at, uh, in his early 40s could still make anybody hustle. Great, great champion, Gonzalez. Now Passarell serving once again. Fifteen love. Thirty fifteen. Thank you. 
15. And that really was an unexpected one. Gonzalo is not meaning to move an inch there for that. Game to Passerell. Two-game goal. To all in the fourth set. Passerell leading by two sets to one. And just for the moment, the sun has gone in. Gonzalez to serve. Well, a blistering serve there. That's as fast a serve as Gonzalez has produced all afternoon. Forty now. Gonzalez, new ball, please. Three games to two, Gonzalez leads, fourth set. And Passerell by two sets to one. Jack, I was just thinking they played now and three quarters this afternoon, and they were very nearly up to the two and a half hour mark yesterday. That's a pretty long match. It must go, it must go down in history as the longest one played down here at Wimbledon. Dan and I watched Charlie Passerell very closely here, and he's of course, always known to be a very uh, slow, deliberate player. Uh, he's not really as tired as he walks. That's just his normal stroll that he uses as he skate to play tennis. That's 185, by the way, that clearance from Dusanova. 